everybody. It's Wendy Lane Wright, the Hollywood Talent Manager, and I'm in Los Angeles, California. And uh, welcome to my channel. If you're new to this channel, I've been a talent manager and before that a talent agent uh, for the last 15 years. And I have come into YouTube for many years teaching you what I've learned as a manager and an agent. And I want to give actors the most specific, direct advice I possibly can. Uh, I tell it like it is, no bullshit. And uh, hopefully that is your type of approach because I really want you to learn the facts about this business and I want you to be successful and I want to help you succeed. I have no ulterior motive other than to help you succeed in your life, in your business and, and following your dreams. Okay. So if you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe and click the notification bell. That'll tell you when I have new videos out, we do them every week. And I'm so happy to have you in this community. I'm excited to be here to talk to you. Today, we're gonna to talk about being very specific with the types of shows that you are right for. So if you're an intermediate actor, you know, like you've been in this business for a little while, you have your headshots and your acting clips, and now you're trying to figure out, okay, how do I take my career to the next level? I booked a couple co-stars or, you know, I've done a whole bunch of short films and some non-union features, but I wanna to go to the next level. And I think everybody in Hollywood is always leveling up, you know, if, uh, student film directors want to become TV directors and uh, producers want to become network producers. So every actor wants to become usually a series regular or a movie star. There's always a leveling up process. One of the ways that a, an actor can level up is to become very specific on the types of shows that you want to work in. So let's take one of my Hollywood Winter Circle actors named Sean Barube. Sean is a retired policeman from Tucson, Arizona. Retired policeman from Tucson. He retired about three years ago. He joined my Hollywood Winter Circle course. He didn't know anything about the entertainment business because he was a cop, right? But he'd always been wanting to act. So he was so smart. He immediately joined HWC and he spent time in there learning exactly what I teach him. And he did the work. And this man works all the time now. He works all the time. One of the things he is a genius at is being a cop. So that makes sense that that would be one of the types he would play. Cop, detective, sergeant, military, things like that. He leaned into what he's already good at. And that's called typecasting. He's not trying to play a fairy, you know, a tooth fairy or, you know, a grandmother or something else. He's not trying to play a librarian. He's playing to his strengths. His strengths are martial arts, weaponry, uh, action, detective, police, interrogating, badassery. That's his, his, that's what he leaned into. And almost all the roles he's been booking have been cop, detective, sergeant, military, etc. But don't be afraid of being type cast because I always say, what's the second word in that? Cast. And that man is cast all the time. He just booked a giant network show, which we're not going to announce right now because it hasn't aired yet. He, and he's so we, you know, but I just tell you, he booked a huge network show. And as a cop, no doubt. And one of the techniques that we train Sean and other actors in our course to use is to sit down and write out all of the shows that you write for. So for example, if you're playing a cop, what are all the cop shows? What are all the shows that cops have appearances on? Because aren't those more likely gonna hire him than the kindergarten teacher shows or the sitcom? Like he's a cop, he's an action figure. So what are those shows? What if there's 25 shows on TV that are all about cops? Blue Blood, CSI, NCIS, uh, Rookie Blue, Chicago PD, on and on and on, right? or Chicago Fire, any of those shows that cross over and have cops and things. Any TV show that has cops is part of his target list. So every actor should sit down and watch TV. If you wanna be on TV, don't say you don't watch TV, okay? If you wanna be on TV, watch TV because that's, your, that's where you wanna go. So you gotta know a lot about that medium. Watch how they shoot it, turn off the volume, watch how the actors act. Watch how much movement they do or don't do. Get familiar with the feeling of the shows and then create clips to match the shows you want to be on. So realize that some shows, everyone talks at a faster pace. If it's an Aaron Sorkin show, people rattle off the dialogue really fast. So if you wanna be on an Aaron Sorkin show, it would make sense to create a character that 
would be on an Aaron Sorkin show and speak at the pace of the actors on one of his shows. And then send that to the casting director so they can see that you can do the Aaron Sorkin pace, that you could be on one of his shows. Now, this is not for beginner actors who don't know how to act yet. If you are trying to be an actor, the very first thing you do is take acting classes because no one wants to hire a person that cannot act. And you wouldn't go see movies if everybody in there could not act. You go to them because the actors are amazing and they take you away into another world where you lose your per, the per, this, this current reality and you get lost in the reality of the film. And the only way to do that is if the actors are really good, right? So if you wanna be on TV, you need to be good. So do not just go reaching out to casting directors uh, if you suck or if you haven't trained yet because they're just gonna throw your, your information in the trash and they might not call you in for years because you're amateur and you're not ready. This information I'm giving you for is for more advanced actors, okay? If you've been at this a little while, you have a co-star or two, you've done a bunch of films and you wanna level up to the next level, you're already taking workshops with casting directors it would really benefit you to sit down and think of the five or 10 shows that you are absolutely right for. Then create footage, little self tapes, 35 second clips that fit those characters that go with those shows that feel like those shows. You dress like the characters in those shows. You have the pacing of those characters in those shows and create some clips. And you can actually email those directly to casting and say, hey, I just wanted to get on your radar. Here's a clip that I did of a cop uh, arresting a drug dealer. I uh, just wanted to get on your radar. Have a great day. With a YouTube link to your clip. Some casting directors will just toss that in the trash. Other casting directors read all of their emails. And when they see an actor that's really good, they will call you in for something you write for. But the key here is you gotta be good. You gotta be good. No one's calling in amateurs that can't act. So whatever clip you pick, make sure you get coached on it. There's a lot of different people that coach. Jake O'Flaherty, Darren Warren, Margie Haber Studios. Uh, God, I can't think of it. Let's see, Holly Gagnier, Gloria Garayua, Kimberly Crandall. You can rewind and listen to those names again and then Google them. But you want to contact those people, get coached on that material first, then record it, oh, book from tape. It's another one, great place to coach for an audition. Record it and then upload it on your Actors Access, upload it onto YouTube and shoot a link off to the casting director. But only when you're ready. Don't do that before you're ready or you'll just look like an amateur and then people won't hire you and you kind of make a, a bad impression. Okay, but that's for the advanced actors. I hope that helps you. Uh, make sure that you post in comments or DM me on Instagram or here on YouTube and let me know how that works out for you. I'll see you in the next video.